first go to your browser and go to github.com click on sign up and enter your email all right mail the code city at the gmail.com click on continue now let's create a password click on continue again let's enter a username click on type n or y anything is fine click continue now there's a puzzle click on verify and now this puzzle might change so i just have to use my arrows keys to point this deer to the direction that the arrow is uh, the hand is pointing so it's this direction now click submit now click on create account you'll be sent a code to the email that you entered so go to gmail and here's the code copy it paste the code here and your account is ready now enter these things i'll just enter just me and na here click on continue you can leave these things unchecked you can use this later to continue again and we will choose free plan for now and finally our github is ready so this is the github dashboard or the github homepage. once you have your account let's see how we can push code to github first we need to create a repository in github right so let's click on create repository and just give it a name test repo is what i'll call it you can choose to write a description also you can make the repository public or private if you have made a repository public it will be accessible by using the github url if you have made it private it will only be visible to you and whoever else you give permission to so let's make it public for now and no need to change anything else just click on create repository so our repository is ready now whatever code we do on our computer can be pushed to this repository you can think of this repository is like a bucket so whatever you do you push it to this bucket so now let's go ahead and let's create a project here you can create any project so let me write my test project now inside this you can have your java code you can have your php code your python code whatever you want for now i will just create a file and i'll call it test test underscore code dot txt and let's write something here let's write code goes here now once you have your project ready what you need to do is you need to first have git installed if you don't have git installed in your computer check the link in the description it will show you how to install git okay so once git is installed you can hold shift and right click so you if you hold shift and right click you will see these two options here open git gui here or open git bash i'll click on git bash here and now what you need to do is whatever you need to push to github repository it needs to be a git repository itself you need to create a git repository locally and then you can only push to the git repository to initialize git in your project type git in it now this project now has git so to check it you can just minimize this and refresh it and you will see this dot git option now it is not if it is not visible it can be because you know this is a hidden folder you need to check this show hidden items and then only dot git will be visible so we have initialized the git repository now you need to add what files you want to push so let's say you want to push every file to github right so you need to do add dot now all the files are added to this git repository and now you can push this to github but before pushing you will have to commit commit is like doing if the changes are final so let's make our changes final so that we can push it and let's say first commit now finally we are ready to push it to github but we need that url right so let's go to github and then let's copy this url now you can push uh, you can write this command git remote add or region 
Now this is like adding a URL where we will be pushing our GitHub repository that is local, right? So we are pushing our local repository to GitHub. That means we are saving it in GitHub. Now hit enter and the remote repository is added. Now you can push it to GitHub. The command is git push. You, you can uh, choose to remove this O-R-I-G-I-N and then you need to push it to a branch name. So you can have multiple branches where you have your final code, where you have your test code and all that stuff. For now, I am in my branch local, so I'll push it to, sorry, I'm in my branch master, so I'll push it to master. Now I'm getting this error because my Git account is still access to configure or use my old user, that is Wish01. So, but now we need to use which user? This user, right? So. Let me just quickly remove the old user. I'm going to Windows uh, Credential Manager. I'll go down here, as you can see. For GitHub, this user is being used, so I'll just remove this user. In your case, you don't need to do anything. You will directly get this message. So let's see what message do we get now. And if it was your first time, you will just get this message that is Windows uh, connected to GitHub, sign in with a browser or a token. So I'll just click on sign in with your browser. It will ask me to authorize. So I'll just give access to my computer. And now authorization is complete. If I check here, the code push is complete. So this is how you can create a repository in GitHub, create a project in Windows machine, and then initialize repository in your project and then push. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.